Welcome to our studios here at the SSL factory in Oxford, England. We use this facility to demonstrate our products and host training sessions. But this is also the playground where we develop and test our new products. We see this as our Lego studio, a traditional big room built up using SSL modular products from the XLogic series of analog processors. For these products, we took a cut and paste approach to the classic circuits from our large format consoles and reformatted them into building blocks of analog goodness suitable for the modern project studio. We didn't change the designs, the components, or even the factory we made them in. We simply took the consoles that engineers and producers have made part of their signature sound for the last three decades and resized them into Lego blocks of precision audio processing for the modern producer to use in their own rooms. In this video, I'm going to talk about analog summing strategies, and I'll do this using the Xdesk and Expander. The internet is rife with diatribes about analogue summing, and the subject has been called everything from placebo to indispensable analogue mojo in a digital world. While we recognise that you can do great sounding work inside your computer, here at SSL we believe there is something special about bringing a mix together in the analogue domain, and in this video we'll look at a few of the different strategies we think you should consider if you're thinking about breaking out of the confines of the in-the-box world. We live in a world of unlimited undo and clients who expect recalls and tweaks after delivery. It's no surprise then that many producers and engineers choose to work with stems when using analog summing. This method provides a simple way to get the benefits of analog summing, but with the levels for individual tracks controlled within the DAW. Many engineers choose to record the summed analog signal back into their DAW for tweaking at a later date if required. In this example of analog summing, we've got a session with 24 tracks, and I'm going to submix my DAW session into four stereo groups – drums, bass, guitars and vocals. I'm going to run these four stereo buses through the four stereo channels we have on the expander. Then we'll compare the sound to the same four subgroups mixed in the box. So first, I'm going to play the in-the-box mix. And then we'll hear the same four stems mixed through the stereo channels of the expander. This is the simplest example we have of using analog summing, and it'll give you a taste of what to expect from a basic SSL summing system. To our ears, the summed stem mix sounds a little wider and a little more defined, but the best judge should be your own ears. If you want to compare the audio files from all our examples with a good level of fidelity, you can download a pack of .wav files from the SSL website. Now we're going to demonstrate what can be achieved with a slightly larger summing system where we take exactly the same session, but 16 outputs from the DAW and run them into the X-Desk. I'll take the eight most important tracks from my session, kick, snare, a few of the guitars and the lead vocal, and bring them out onto their own channels of the X-Desk, but set all of the faders to unity gain so the mix is just the same as the in-the-box one. A great feature of the X-Desk is the cue to mix button, which gives you an additional eight channels on mixdown. So here, I'm going to split the rest of my session into four stereo subgroups and mix them down using the Q stereo bus. This gives me 16 individual outputs, each with their own level and pan control on mix down. The first file you'll hear is the 16 channel sum mix, then we'll play the in the box mix of the same song again. In this final example, I'm going to take the same session and split it out over 24 channels of the X-Desk and Expander for summing. 
In our experiments, we found that the more channels that you split out of your DAW to sum in the analog domain, the more marked the result. Let's listen to the same session to illustrate the point. First, I'll play the in the box mix. And then we'll hear the same mix summed through 24 channels of the X-Desk and Expander. As I said, if you want to compare the audio files from all our examples with a good level of fidelity, you can download a pack of .wav files from the SSL website. We hope this video has given you some good ideas into the different summing strategies and the results that they can achieve. Thanks for watching. You might want to check out the rest of the LEGO Studio video series. Visit solidstatelogic.com.